We only said goodbye with words I died a hundred times And you go back to him And I go back to black Good morning here. I'm at an old silver mine. I'm gonna try something different. This place has been hit really hard with metal detectors. I'm gonna try using my way too cool UV lamp. It's, it's 365. Once it gets dark, to find calcite, which might have silver in it, and we'll check it later with a pinpointer. Come join me. Sun is still going down. But I got my first piece of silver about 10 yards from my truck and this little hole, here he is here. I suspect the majority of large and shallow silvers have already been sniped out of this area. Let's keep going. <laughs> Abby's helping. Hey, Gabby, come on. Okay, it's deeper. What's this? In this area are diamonds. I think that's a piece of glass. <laughs> Here's Gabby. This one has a green stain. Nippling. Now this one, you see the green stain on the outside. Nicolene. It's kind of a brassy color. And here's a nice little piece I just got off camera. A little bit of vein material. See how that little piece there is hanging off too? Here it's rinsed off. Isn't that sweet? This should also be a good one. Definitely a nice piece now it's been rinsed. Silver. <laughs> what you doing? Come on, move over. Oh, 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 dog. You're still a puppy. You're still a puppy. Okay, I got the rock. Okay, Gabby, look out. I had the rock. You're not helping. Here's the hardest part of metal detecting with your dogs. They want to sit on you. And they want to sit in your hole. <laughs> How you doing, pup? Hey? It's now dark. Let's look for calcite that glows. There's one right there. Great, great, great orange. I don't see any silver in it. Definitely calcite. So this is surface hunting. And this area has been heavily metal detected. So one wouldn't expect to find a lot that got missed by the detectors that are right on the surface. Maybe a few. This technique would be really good in an area that is dense with junk. So the junk would confuse the metal detectors, but 
we would be able to identify calcite. Now, during the daytime, of course, we identify the calcite because you see the white amongst the darker rock. But with the UV lamp, it really makes them pop out. Calcite on the one end of the bigger rock. And the bright yellow one. Okay, all these rocks glowed. Let's look under UV. The question is, any metals in them? Okay, so this one cut is just a smattering of silver. It's in there. You see it better there, the shiny stuff. Very little. That's probably why it didn't get picked up by metal detector. There's just a touch. I like it. You like? I like. I like it a little bit. There we go. The big one was a big disappointment. There's silver there. I'm not really seeing much in the rest of the rock. Here's another small one that I got off camera and it has some silver in it. These are rough cut. You can actually see the saw blade marks, but that's okay. They polish out. The long skinny one. See up in there. Might have a bit of silver, but I'm also seeing the brassy color of nicoline. Okay, here's another one I had. Picked it up with a metal detector, off camera, of course. Sure enough, it's mostly nicoline, but let's just show you something. Where is it? There is a couple, oh, there we go. That one has it. 
there's a couple of little streaks of silver in there. See, like right there, right there. It also fell apart when I was cutting it. There we go. <laughs> The nickeling's kind of nice. It polishes up well, just like brass. Too bad that wasn't gold, eh? But there's the silver there, just right in there. That'd make a pretty nice cab, just a cab around it. A cabricon. So what'd they learn? You can't beat the metal detector for finding stuff and identifying what you're looking at. If you're in an area that is calcite, if the spot is difficult to metal detect because of the amount of junk, using a UV light might be the way to go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon. Bye for now.